Hello everyone. Today I'm interviewing Jamil James and she is on the other side on Zoom getting on Instagram. So Jamil, if you press on the circle now, you should see me and then I will find you and invite you. There you go. I see you. All right, give me a second, guys talking about her discovery of being good enough, which I think is so useful for actors who very often come from a place of not being good enough. There we go. So we can close Zoom. And we're here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> can you hear me properly? I can hear you. You. can you hear me yeah perfect perfect awesome. okay great so welcome welcome and um let's talk a little bit about you so we've done some resetting work together but maybe i want to take it a little more um you know further back and see how you started acting and how it felt before you did this work um i started acting when i was two and a half in the back seat of a Jeep looking at Midnight Cowboy while my, while my parents kept trying to put me down on the seat. And I, that's it. <laughs> do you remember that? And you were two and a half? Yep. That's amazing. Okay, great. And then what has been a summed up version of your acting journey until now? It's been a lot of what, university degrees. It's been um, a lot of theater. It's been in Canada and the US. And it's been a lot of trying harder and chasing mm -hmm. until I started reset. And so how did the trying harder and chasing feel for you? What was that experience? If you can give us a little into that. It was really hard and it was going against what this craft is because this craft is about being in yourself and aware of what you're feeling and in the moment. And it's hard to do those two things at once. And so it was a, a lot of conflict and I had great times with people and I learned a lot and, and I don't regret any of it, but I'm really excited to be doing things in a new way. A new great. And so, um, what have you tried before resetting? In Good. Sorry, you're cutting out. What did I try? Yeah, what did you try, try before resetting? Did you try other ways to work through what the stickiness that you were feeling as an actress? I tried everything. Every teacher, every workshop, every method. Um, I mean, it, and and that and that's part of the shtick, you know. You just keep trying because what, whatever you're doing is not enough. It's like you're missing something, and you got to keep finding someone else that kind of might have that answer. And um, I, I I could I could give you lists and lists and lists. So, what happens? Why do you at one point decide to reset to try kind of the opposite of what all traditional approaches promote to learn? how to act or to improve or to get better or to follow a certain technique or why do you decide at one point to do the opposite and to read that? Um, I had been seeing your work a bit, you know, I'd seen, and at that point it was, you know, I think you were doing one, you know, groups that you were present together. We were before COVID then. And, um, and I saw a picture of everybody moving and I think that they had their eyes closed or and I can't remember where the picture came from. I think it was black and white. And and I avoided it for a while because I thought this is it. <laughs> this is gonna be it. And I just know it. And and then all the rest of it, you know, I'm just not gonna do but I avoided it for a while and then I I I went that way. I am I also have a dance background in ballet, which has been a similar conflict but um really enjoy the movement and you know closing your eyes and finding things um from the inside from the outside and kind of aligning moving and breathing and sound and all those things so i was drawn to it for for those reasons for that picture mm -hmm. 
-hmm. It's interesting. So you put, but you pushed it away for a couple of years. I did. I thought, I don't know what this is. And I'm in New Mexico, that crowd's in LA and they look like they really know how to do that. I don't know if I can, <laughs> all those little critical voices, you know, and, and when you've been trying for so long yeah. in a certain way and, and the ways that I had, I had learned before this way, they were helpful, but I just found it too many things to think of at once while I was trying to act, you know what I'm saying? I had to figure out who this was, who that was, what this meant, and then try to imagine different things at the same time. And it was just hard to be in the present moment with that. It was literally like juggling. You could do it, yeah. but it was hard. Yeah, and, and, and hard equals not fulfilled, right? It starts being an obligation and like feels like homework, yeah. then it's fun. And, and I think, like you say, that you could do it with a method. And it's not gonna be bad, it's probably gonna be mm -hmm. juggle you have to do from a method, but there's no no space for art when you're following a method. There's no yeah. space for real creativity because you're following steps, right? So the method never come from a technique or steps it comes from actually right walking away from that. Do you have also because there's um, a therapy also in your in your background in your experience. What is your therapeutic perspective on those two distinct approaches? I think that we're all attempting to feel whole, you know, and fulfilled and enough. Um, and I don't know if that's completely possible for so many reasons, um, but. The first way, and I just want to clarify one thing, and that is that the, the way that I'm starting to do things now, it's not about effort so much, but it is about focus. And there, there are two different things, focus and effort. Um, and focus is kind of a little bit more in a line with um, feeling good about yourself, feeling whole, um, feeling like you're enough, mm -hmm. and not having to try to be something else or someone else or, better. or try to change. Sorry, or a better version, or the better version, right? It's just not good enough. The whole, that's still pointing in that direction, and I guess I just I got tired, and I thought I'm going to give up if I don't do something yeah. different here. Yeah, yeah. So, how was the experience for you? The resetting itself. How was that? You know, I keep coming up with the cliche, and I, I just have to say it anyway. It's like mm -hmm. coming home, mm -hmm. but but it it takes focus and it takes challenging yourself. It takes a willingness to go in and get to know yourself. And, and the really nice thing is that you learn that all that's okay. You're enough. Yeah. yeah. Great. Um, how do you feel like if you would compare, cause it's not cliche, but take the cliche before and after so you say it was really hard before resetting and how does it feel now so when i'm getting ready for an audition now before it was like getting ready to run a 20 mile race mm -hmm. now it's like okay um we're gonna have to unwind here a bit now we're gonna have to unwind and back up and be still and mm -hmm. let go and that sort of thing so it's kind of the opposite process for me now and that's a little bit more it still takes focus sometimes in time if you've been busy with stuff and you know triggered by things in life that we all get triggered by but it's it's a, it's it's actually nice and it contributes to me feeling good about myself mm -hmm. and it's it's interesting it's there's a discovery oh i didn't realize i i saw this like this and and you can also be more accepting of going in ways with characters that might not be socially acceptable because you're not looking for approval and i think that's you know the most important thing that i learned in reset is just do a check on that all the time if you're looking for approval because it's not going to work no it's not going to work for you in terms of fulfillment because the fulfillment doesn't come from external validation it comes from being you experiencing you it doesn't work for the director it's not going to prove getting your soldier self. It doesn't work for the story of the character because you're basically not coming up with your humanity coming up with. Yeah, I want to say conditioned manipulative tricks. And yeah, it doesn't work for the audience because if we're not showing up truly human, 100% you know, in our freedom, in our life, no matter what it looks like, 
well, then we're not making this character human so that the, the audience cannot be moved because there's not a human being embodied in the character, right? So everybody loses when anything else that you would like to share about your experience or about your you know the about just really realizing like I don't need to do anything I am enough everyone is um yeah and I, I'm not I'm not trying to make this this does take focus work and it is a is it is a commitment mm -hmm. you know for me um it's a daily commitment um but I also think I wanted to say here that I've got a background in acting, whatever that means. But I think that you could do the work that you're doing um, here in this teachings, in these teachings, um, with someone. Because I get friends that say, you know, where do I start with acting now? I'm just realizing this is something I want to do. I, I think you could start here, and we could probably be successful at the same time. It doesn't matter what your background yeah. is. Yeah, uh, because the thing is. <clears throat> best actors in the world and they've never actually gone yeah, yeah. followed it the acting is really just the art of being fully alive and present in the moment that's that's all it is and being interested in characters rather than trying to be thing right so the yeah. Are you trying to be in? Are you interested in the character's needs, or are you trying to be interesting as a person? And um, yeah, like kids really don't do any of that, and they are there already. So the same goes for people who haven't studied acting. It's actually mm -hmm. much to be able yeah. to the fullness of their their instrument without having spent time in traditional acting education where you actually get disconnected from it. Um, well thank you for sharing that uh jamil thank you for sharing the truth thank you for showing up for the work thank you for for trusting yourself in the process of of resetting uh, well send us a dm we can send you some information we can send you some free trainings Journey, your journey back like I say all the time I don't think it's cliche it's a it's a feeling that we all know right it's mm -hmm. like I feel myself I, I'm at home yeah definitely. thank you yeah thank you so much thank you all right bye guys bye bye